in the Bible, it talks about how, at least in the NIV version and some other versions, they, they write down saying that all scripture God breathed and is used for correction, for rebuke, for uplifting, and just all this basically good stuff, which is actually true. But, however, that's a wrong translation. It's an incorrect uh, thing that somebody wrote down, but also did that out of deception because it was misunderstood. Now, the writer, which was Paul, he wrote um, inspiration, and people can actually mix with um, inspiration with, um, oh, well, God breathed scripture, and just um, because Paul was a man of God, and he, and he had the Holy Spirit with him, people think that because this all was like the way it was, they think literally that, um, that anything that Paul said was literally the mouth of God. And I'm going to give an example why that's not true or why all that literally every scripture God breathed. So when Paul and I think it was Barnabas, if I'm not mistaken, they saw this man that never walked in his life. And Paul said, stand up on your feet. And this man, um, stood up and was was joyful and in the Laconian language I think it was they thought that Paul was um, was the chief speaker of the Greek gods and they thought Barnabas was Zeus and whatever and when Paul and Barnabas found out about this they tore their clothes and ran into the crowd that they were about to sacrifice bulls and all this offerings to them and Paul was shouting at them like friends why do you do this we we're men like you and we call you basically to repent and turn away from this stuff and um, the thing is is I made a past video about how um, how what Paul wrote down or basically what Peter wrote down is not the word of God but it is the word of man like it's Paul's word and Peter's word and I got major criticism like literally ev almost everywhere that I could even be even on my phone on my um or excuse me within people that i know there was major criticism that i got from this because people hated what i said and it wasn't from me that that i wrote this down on facebook or that i said this on a youtube video even though there was a human error that i made in that video um what i what um Basically, I got was inspiration from the Holy Spirit and just just to tell people that Paul is not God because if that were the case, then he would be saying, follow me. But no, instead, Paul said, follow after Jesus. And that's what Paul did. He had the Holy Spirit within him. Yes, we can say what the word of God, Jesus Christ, told us. Now, what we would say, what the Word of God told us, that would be God's Word or the Word of God. But does that make us God? No, 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 it does not. Because if God is with us and we are speaking a message, does that make us God? No, it doesn't. That actually means that we have made someone an idol. And quite frankly, many people have put church as their god they have made Bi the bible their god they have made the pastor their god they have made certain family members or certain um leaders 
their God. And I was one of these people. I was one of these people that made people, um, my God, and I didn't realize this. And eventually in time, I had, I had to repent of this. So what, um, so what kind of things should we do if, um, if we come across this is obviously we rebuke it because the thing is, is that Satan is the deceiver. He deceives anyone and he can and will. The only one he can't, he can't be deceived by is Satan. Satan can try and deceive us all he wants, but Satan tried to deceive Jesus and he failed miserably. <clears throat> so, more, ouch, more to the point is that we do not need uh, people as mouth speakers for the Lord. Or saying that they speak for the Lord, but yet they don't know who the Lord is. Now, I don't say this out to condemn anybody. Some of you may think I am, but I'm not. What I will tell you to do is go to Jesus and know who he and know who he really is. Don't ignore his hard sayings, but accept all his sayings. Good sayings and then the bad sayings. So know Jesus. Know him for who he is, but also know him. Or else he will not know you and he will say, depart from me, I don't know you. Because if we're going to go out and lie and say, well, scripture is literally what God breathed. That's just a deception. That's like saying the Bible just physically appeared out of nowhere and that's not true. If that were the case, then that would be so, but it is not so. So, are you going to follow after deception that, that many Christians have thought for years or even as they were a child? Or are you going to follow after the breath of God, the words of God that come out of his lips? May Jesus Christ bless you.